right with her. Oh my god, yes. She is born oh my god. on the Yes, we get out with you. Ooh. She's a, she's a crackhead. We live for crackheads on this channel. We we love them. We live for them. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Issa. Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be watching a new updated guide for G Idol. I, I asked in the poll section on the community page if I should do it. Because even on the guide I posted, you guys told me to react to a different one because it was just like not like helpful. And let's just get into it. Let's, let's get more educated because I need it, honestly. Ooh, it's an unhelpful guide. We, we love those. We love those. Hello, I assume you want to start standing or learning more about G Idol. In this video, I will introduce Idol to you, go over their discography, and then venture out to get to know each member individually. Hopefully, this video will help you out. Help let's get started. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Is this, is this like a spoiler? I'm gonna skip it. Okay. I'll do that after this one. Oh no, I'm gonna, what am I talking about? I have to start from the beginning, so I'm gonna, after this, I'm gonna watch from like debut. G Idol debuted on May 2nd, 2018 with their first mini album, I Am, and title track, Lad It Up. The group consists of six members, Soyeon, Miyeon, Minnie, Sujin, Yuki, and Shuhua. They are under Cube Entertainment. The meaning of the name G Idol is a group of six different personalities gathered together. Interesting. Their logo is I M D L E tilted to the side. G Idol's fandom name is Neverland. That is so and cute. Their official colors are neon red and chick violet. And finally, here is a list of their social media accounts that you can follow. Okay, now it's time to move on to their discography. G Idol currently have three Korean albums. Ooh, I'm gonna do album reactions too, so those will be for Patreon though, so I'm not sure if I should should I do them on here? I'm not sure. You guys let me know. One Japanese mini album and three digital singles. Ooh. Oh my god. That already sounded so good. I'm gonna react to that. But should I just do everything in order? I think I should. Because I got like multiple like comments saying I should go in order from like debut to like now. So maybe I don't know how far this is. Like, okay, yeah. And that's like pretty recent. Because they said 2018 was our debut. So like, I think I should just. I'll be okay. I'll, I'll wait for it. But like, that already sounds immaculate. Oh my god. I can't wait. Like, oof. Some of Idol's other songs include Relay, Help Me, and Show. Some members have also collaborated with other artists, but we will cover that under like each member's profile. Now let's move that. on to the member profile section of this video. We will start off with our leader, John So Yan. Oh, she's a rapper. Okay, I know that. I, I, I can just tell when I verse here. So Yan is not only the leader of G Idol, but also the main rapper, the dancer, vocalist, and plays the center role in the group. Okay. So Young is born on August 26th. Oh my god! She's an August baby too! Me too! But she's not a Leo, so. I mean, it's okay, we're still August babies. Yay, girl, yeah. 1998. She is a Virgo and is approximately 157 centimeters or 5 foot 2 inches five, tall. Three. Alongside dancing, rapping, and singing, Soyeon is also a producer for Idol and has written the majority of Idol's discography. Soyeon has also produced and written songs for other artists, one being CLC's No. She debuted as a soloist on November 5th, 2017 with her digital single, Jelly, which was
was written, composed, and arranged by herself. She featured on KDA, Pop Stars, True oh. Damage, Giants, and featured on some other songs such as Wow Thing with Chonga, Sewell Jian Sin, and I Wanna Be with Chinese Key. So Yan was on Produce 101 and placed 20th on the last episode. She joined on Pretty Rapster and placed 3rd. She likes watching anime. One of her favorite anime is One Piece. Favorite color is yellow. She hates vegetables. Oh my god. Loves fried banana. Lives with Yuki and Minnie. That's chick just so that she can seem intimidating in front Wait, of- Wait, lives with Yuki and Minnie? Like, do they like live in different, like, um, dorms? With each other? They don't live all together? The members and fans, but everyone knows she has that cute, bubbly side. Our French queen. Bonjour. She is commonly shipped with member Yuki. It's interesting, because, like, whenever I hear her rap, it's pretty low, like, her, like, her voice. But, like, when I'm, ta when I'm hearing her talk, it's pretty, like, high, so, uh, interesting. She is in charge, has a contagious laugh, <laughs> can be a crackhead on occasion, and is just our all-rounder charismatic leader. Next, we have Mi Yan. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh. Ooh. Is she a visual? I'm guessing. Mi Yun is the main vocalist no, of Idol. Not. She is also the eldest member of the group, but definitely doesn't carry the most brain cells because she is a crackhead. Wait, okay, what's, what's her birthday? Definitely doesn't carry oh. the most brain cells because mm -hmm. she is a crackhead. I vibe with her. Oh my god, yes. She is born. Oh my on god, the dirty yes. Let me get out with you. Ooh, she's she's a crackhead. We live for crackheads on this channel. We we love them. We live for them. Else, because she is a crackhead. She is born on the 31st of January in 1997, an Aquarius, and is about 163 centimeters, or 5 foot 4 inches. Mi Young is a former YG trainee since 2015, that. and was supposed to debut with Blackpink. Because I know that there was like supposed to be like a, they were supposed to debut with um, five members, but I never knew who the other member was. But I mean, now I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. She is Idol's power vocal. She is in League of Legends group, KDA, featured on Pop Stars, and card with Hanzu. <laughs> She is left-handed. Her favorite color is green. Can play piano and violin. She has started thinking about making her own music for Idol one day. She is friends with Promise 9 members Jiwen and So Yan. Lives with Shuhu and Sujin. She okay, so I'm guessing they live in different dorms then? Of to tease Shuhua. <laughs> She looks so Part of the Sujin and Shu who love triangle. Oh, love triangles? We live for those too. <laughs> Commonly shipped with member Minnie. Despite her age, she is definitely one of the main crackheads of the group and knows how to have a good time. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? She can teleport. <laughs> <laughs> and is our flexible queen. 
<laughs> now we will move on to many. <laughs> Minnie is a Thai K pop idol. She is the main vocalist and was born on the 23rd of October in 1997. She is a Scorpio and is approximately 164 centimeters or 5 foot 5 inches tall. Minnie has such a soft, yet powerful voice. Everything you think I need here on the ground. I saw that on the other, the other guy. Can't speak. Five languages. Yeah, okay, yeah, we, we covered that. Featured on Wengi's song, Empire. So Janine, gotta have a mini. Wrote and produced Blow Your Mind on G Idol's I Made Mini album. You made me crazy. And show from JTBC Sugarman, loves photography and cameras, appeared on Pentagon Maker. She is friends with CLC's Sorn and Blackpink's Lisa, can play the piano, fan of Super Junior, tomboy fashion style we love IT. Her favorite color is pink, lives with Soyeon and Yuki, left-handed. She is in a Thai group chat with Bamboom from GOT7, Nitchkin from 2PM, Sorn from CLC, Lisa from Blackpink and Ten from NCT, loves Troy Savan, has a cute voice. Gets oh. jealous and sulky when Mi Young doesn't give her attention. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that. Commonly shipped with. Oh, I can't even tell, but I'm gonna like. Oh, I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it, cause I already I love when um. Cause we we all we all have those like love triangles. In like each group, and like with Momo, Sana, and Diane, that's a good that's a good example right there. It's entertaining to watch, and I love I love I, I love every single one of them. That like I just oof, you know it's good. But like now that there's like a love triangle in this, yes, we're living for it. I'm excited to see it. With me, Yan has to get her screen time in every eye talk. <laughs> oh, I love her energy, please. <laughs> and that's it for Minnie's profile. I don't know. I still feel like I'm leaning towards her. Even though I don't want to pick so soon, I just feel like I'm just... I can't speak soon. Oh, this is the girl, the blonde, that was in Oh My God. I was like simping over her and y'all were telling me that this was her name. We'll see. We'll, we'll, let's look at her. Now let's move on to Sujin. She's a dancer too. Oh, she has tattoos? Yes! 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 Sujin is well known as the main dancer and idol. She is also a vocalist and she is born on the 9th of March 1998, is a Pisces, and is about 164 centimeters, or 5 foot 5 inches tall. Sujin is probably the softest and shyest member of Idol, until she is performing on stage. She is also the member considered to hold the only brainzel in the group. Sujin was about to debut with girl group Vivi Diva in 2015, and even performed once with them before she became a trainee at Cube. She has a heavenly voice. We already established she's like a pure voice. angel and devil at times. She has eight tattoos. Her nickname is Cherry. She can cook I'm very well. Sorry, I'm sorry. What? What? <laughs> we stand Ariana Grande in this channel too. She was a tattoo of seven rings. Let's just take a moment. Can dance like a pure angel and devil at times. Ooh. She has eight tattoos. Her nickname is Cherry. She can cook very well. She is so effortlessly cute. Her charisma on stage got the gaze falling for her. She rocks high heels, loves red lipstick, used to do taekwondo, commonly shipped with Shuhua. <laughs> 
begged her father to become an idol for two years. Very humble, doesn't believe her impact yet. Lives with Miyang and Shuhua. Pretends she doesn't love Shuhua much when the camera is rolling. Yet, everyone knows how much she adores Shuhua. <laughs> Now let's move on to Yuki. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, you can't choose early. We are now on member five of six. Meet Yuki. Yuki is a foreign K-pop idol. She is Chinese, the lead vocalist, lead dancer, and the face of the group. She is born on the 23rd of September in 1999, is a Libra, and is about 162 centimeters. I'm 5'3'2". Yuki is such a cutie. Just look at her. If you looked at pictures of Yuki, I would guarantee that you would assume her voice is high-pitched, but it's actually the total opposite. Yuki is getting into producing. She has a deep, husky, powerful voice. Yep, I noticed that. Interesting. Loves to dance and rap. Her deep voice got girls going crazy. She speaks three languages, English, Korean, and Chinese. Commonly shipped with Soyeon. She is definitely the fake Macni. She is very popular. The group's cutest member tries too hard to be chick like so young just so she can look intimidating, but it will never work. Associated with giraffes, fan of NBA, she loves LeBron James. Hip hop. Loves meat, especially Ooh. Jack Ball. Friends with Wavy member Lucas, was the strongest member of Idol, but I'm pretty sure it's Sujin now. Lives with So Young and Minnie, very loud at times. Ooh, knows how, knows how to make So Young fall for her. I think I might like her too. We'll see. The group's troll crackhead teases Shu Oh, she's a crackhead too. <laughs> and loves to make everything a little more fun in the group. Now that we are finished with Yuki, we should move on to the final member and maknae of the group, Shuhua. We are now on to our final member of the group, Shuhua. How do you say her name? Because I'm pretty sure this, like, this is not saying it correctly. Is it Sh Shua? Like, am I saying that correctly? Like, Shua? We are now on to our final member of the group, Shuhua. Love the energy, yeah. <laughs> Shuhua is a foreign K-pop idol. She is Taiwanese and moved to Korea when she was just 16 years old to become a K-pop idol. Shuhua is a vocalist, visual and the maknae of the group. She is born on January the 6th of 2000, which makes her a Capricorn, and is about 161 centimeters, or 5 foot 3 inches tall. Shuhua is Idol's funniest member. She is also the youngest member of the group, wants to be an entertainer, but she already is. She is the group's crackhead, has a 4D personality according oh, to Su- Yes, uh... I love 4D personalities. Those are my biases. Usually, like they're like the main biases. They have 4D personalities. Ugh. I'm not gonna like base my bias off of like that, but like she's already got like just because she's a 4D personality. Just I gotta see how she acts. You know, ooh. It's just I always. It's like I don't mean to like gravitate towards them. It's just like I oh like I just I just do naturally. Like I end up going like towards the, like the forty personality members. I don't understand why, but I do. Sujin, she had a hard time as a trainee because of the language barriers. Very protective over her woman, Sujin. Oh, 
Is it Mion? I think it's Mion, the one that's friends with Sana. Okay, there you go. Right? Am I correct or not? Can someone tell me? Because I don't know. I don't know. What number it is? Lives with Sujun and Mi Ian. She knew of K-pop through her friends. Likes watching dramas. Hyuna inspired her to become a singer. <laughs> Sujin cook for her. Hates strawberries. Likes chocolate. Oh, used I love to chocolate. be roommates with Sujin. She has Hollywood actress potential. Okay. The music makes it better. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Can speak Chinese and Korean. Sleeps a lot. Has admitted to sleeping in Sujin's bed whenever she isn't in the dorm, and is probably one of the funniest maknae's in the K-pop industry today. Is that it? We have now completed all sections of the guide. I hope that this guide helped you become an Everland and helped you get to know a bit more about our girls. It in did. the description, I have put the link to a playlist of all of my idol compilations. If you are looking to stand even harder by getting to know each member's personality better, these compilations would most probably help you familiarize yourself with the group a lot more. Also in the description, there will be a link to Idol's I Talk episodes. I recommend you watch those from the beginning for a better feel of what the girls are like behind the stage. I cannot guarantee that all information on this video about each member is 100% but I did research to the best of my ability. It was good. And I am sorry if I had messed anything up in the making. Don't apologize. A final thanks to my good friend Maha and to K-pop Profiles for helping me validate some of the information in the guide. I will link Idol's K-pop profile in the description too. Thank you for watching. See hey. you all in the next video. That was a lot a lot better than the other cuz the other one was too it was a lot. It was a lot. But this was actually a lot better to focus with and like understand more so I I think I have a better like understanding now and um I I'm already getting familiar with faces now so it's good it's good for getting there yeah I know someone has sent me like a whole list of like where to start for like starting from debut and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that after this video now. I'm gonna start from like their debut and then we're gonna start there and start our journey. And I became, I'm like, I'm a new Neverland, so educate me if I do something wrong, please. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, you know, say anything wrong or like, you know, just help me out here, you know? Help your girl out, my fellow Neverlands, and you know, like, come with me and grow with me on my awesome journey as a Neverland. A new Neverland, you know? So I hope you guys like the reaction and I'll see you next video. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a their debut music video. So I'll catch you later there. And yeah, I'll see you, bye. Love you, thank you for watching.